everyone, I wanted to quickly show you how you can edit your PDFs or turn them into editable documents so that if you have a form that you create, you can later input data or if you create a printable worksheet for your students or your children, you can make it digital by creating editable forms or editable text boxes. So let me show you how. So you're going to go to a website called pdfescape.com or you can just type in Google edit PDFs and you should see it. So I'm going to click on that and this is what comes up and I'm going to go to the free online version and then I'm going to go to upload PDF to PD PDF escape. So that means you have to have already created your document and already exported it as a PDF and once you do that then you can upload it to this website. So I'm going to click upload and then go to choose file and I'm going to go to my sample of one of the resources that I've created. It's an addition adding within 10 um, pack and I just pulled one of the pages out so I would want students to add on this page and then insert their answer. So I want to add little text boxes for them to type in their answer if they were to do this online. So I'm going to go over here under the insert tab and I'm going to click on form field and then click on text. There's tons of other, not tons, but there's a few more other options you can choose from, but we're going to choose text because they're only typing in a number or two. So then I'm going to hit select and I'm going to just click and you can see the text box pop up. It's kind of long, but you can take the edges and resize it. So before I add in the other ones, I want to make some changes to the text box. So I'm going to come up here where it says Arial. So it has a few fonts you can choose from. I think Arial I like the best out of these choices. I do want to increase the font size to about 24. You can make it bold. You can make italicized. You can even change the color of the text if you like. But I'm going to leave it to be black right now. So, and then you can see once your once the student is ready to type in what it's going to look like. So I think I want it to be even larger. Let's go to 30 and type in there. That helped a little bit. Now, I also want them to be able to type in the middle. So if you right click and then go to object properties, you can see it says alignment towards the bottom and it's on the left. So I'm going to put center because I want it to be center. And click OK. So when they type, let's say the answer is 9, it goes right there in the middle. OK, so we have that all done. Let's delete this one. And you can't just delete. You have to select the box and come up here to the trash can to get rid of it. So I want to, let's get rid of the answer. And I want to right click and then hit duplicate. So what I did to that first text box, it duplicates in the next text box and I can just easily place it there. And then I'm going to right click again and hit duplicate. And then one more time, duplicate. And then I'm done. So it all depends on how much how many blank spaces you have on your PDF that you need to add text boxes to. So I'm going to go over to save and then go to this green button that has like two arrows going down. That's the download button. I'm going to click on the new PDF and you can see here that now we can click on Let's just pretend the answers are all nine. You can click on them there. And now you've turned your printable worksheet into an editable or digital worksheet. So I'm going to download this to my computer and save it. 
Let's just save it to my desktop for now. Adding with intent sample. I'm going to put editable or digital if you want. And then click save. Let's go open it up and look at it. Go to my folders, go to my desktop, open it up. So then when you open up the document that you've created or your students open up, they can see these text boxes here so that they know they can click on it and put their answer in. And there you go. That's how you make your printable PDFs into digital or editable PDFs. I hope this tutorial helped you.